Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending July the 15th, 2022. It's a uh, heat of summer, huh? Got a little bit of break from that today. Got a little bit of break from the downtrend uh, today also in the markets despite yesterday's 9.1. Uh, inflation uh, report uh, and bad earnings for some of the uh, of the um, uh, big banks. Uh, a couple, a handful of other big banks came in today with better uh, returns. So we bounced back up. What we, what do you do with all this? Well, why do we address market risk first? Because that's perceived risk. Okay, that's most people's ages fifty and older biggest concern right now. Generally, the studies show that they're most concerned about risk affecting them, market risk, longevity risk, and then finally their health. Actually, <clears throat> the uh, studies uh, really show and, and the data show that what you should actually be concerned about, your actual risk, are should be ranked really longevity, health, and then market risk, okay, latter, because um, the other issues have a more immediate impact and are perhaps are more controllable as well but whatever the reasons that's what the data say so how do we do that well we start off talking about market risk every day because that's what most people are concerned about so how do we manage this well where are we at right now right now we have been uh, moving in this same range for about a month right now from about 3800 about 3790 to about 3,900 or 30 or, or, or a little bit over 3,900, but it, it's been range bound in there for about a month. What's our overall trend in the markets? A downtrend in the S&P 500. That's what I'm speak, speaking to right now, the S&P 500. Um, a lot of talk right now about the R word, recession and everything. So what are you gonna do when this goes on? Well, to manage this risk right now, let's quantify it. So the math shows us right now that the market with all of the news that's come in and the, and the toughness is satisfied pricing somewhere between the 3800 and 3900 really around 3850 is where it's been it's been it's been returning to that's a, that's that's where we're going as the summer wears on here uh, where is it likely to go to in the next downstroke? Because the Fed's coming in with new in, uh, new uh, rate hikes, okay? All of those can't be priced in the market right now. I mean, really. So where does the mass show the market may, may be comfortable with? Well, about another 5% lower, okay? How do we manage this risk then? Well, we have several plays that are available to us to manage this risk. There's several different strategies, one of which... If you like downside protection, because, uh, you know, several of my clients, when I speak with them, they say, well, I'm not sure that I agree with you on a 5% downstroke. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, but what if we came in and said, well, okay, we can protect your at-risk money for 30% on the downside. Some plays have been offering recently 40% protection. Those are longer term uh, commitments in the play. But all of these are callable, really, generally after three months, six months, if uh, the markets move back up, the banks are going to call these notes back in. I'm talking about structured notes. That's one of the alternatives that we have uh, to address these risks. So where are we where are we do with those? Well, we analyze those, fit those to people's uh, uh, risk. And, and, you know, you only have to go all or nothing. You know, you can look at little sleeves here and there and get enough to make it through over over a total return uh, uh, aspect uh, to your portfolio to get through this year year and a half worth of bear market that we're that we're looking at okay uh, right now what do you do it's three steps identify the trend okay trends down identify you know once you've identified the trends avoid those particular equities that's we've already done that we're sitting on a lot of cash and then three wait patiently for certain plays to open up and then get them at a bargain rate. When we start seeing 30 and 40% downside protection with 30%, 10%, double digit, let's just say that double digit monthly yield, double digit annually, annual rates payable monthly. Those are fantastic yields. Okay. Same with the uh, same with total uh, return on, on, on dividend plays. So there's a number of different strategies that we employ depending on a client's risk uh, tolerance to get past this market risk. Okay. So that's what you have to start looking at. Let's stop being ruled by fear. Let's look at see what the data say. 
and that's what the data say all right so we can manage that piece of it if you're what i'd like to do we we've had a little disruption here cut through a schedule off really would like to have a webinar and just a q a session we'll give you a three to five minute background on where everything's at and then just open up the forum for a q a session um send us an email and tell us when the right evening would be for you guys and we'll take an average of that and try to try to stretch one across those evenings and times so that there's just feedback back and forth a q a session okay all right so uh next time around we'll address longevity and health risk as because let me tell you what from uh, my uh, personal experience in my immediate family over the last month there's a nursing shortage there's a nursing shortage and if we're worried about overall inflation at nine percent and that's eventually going to correct itself but the healthcare risk is its own little niche of inflation that's what really we have to address because right now there's there's certain hospital staffs and everything that are six positions shy okay they there's money available, a great paying job. They just can't get the people to take the jobs. So this is an issue that's eventually gonna, that, that's gonna translate into higher costs and overworked people for those that do take the jobs and they're gonna have to pay them more. We're gonna have to pay them more because they know that they're gonna pass that cost down. So let's address those, those other, those other major risks. Studies show that you're about 50% you should be about 50% more concerned with your health and longevity risk as you are, okay? 50 to a third, all right? More concerned than you are and about that much less concerned with the market. All right, we got the market under control. Let's do that Q&A session. Let us know when's a good time for you. Meanwhile, until next week, you stay happy because we know that's the key to longevity.